doing this sketch and I thought, why don't I do a bit of background stuff? Because I just started to do the background stuff and lay it in. I thought I'm going to do a tutorial on this. So what I'm doing here is I'm laying down um, parallel lines to act as guidelines just to show me where. And I'm doing it very roughly, as you can see, because I don't, you know, I never use rulers because what's the point? I want it to be nice and rough and characterful. And it doesn't need to be exact. I don't want it to be exact. I'm not interested. I'm not interested in perfection. So what I'm doing here is I'm just putting in basic shapes in the background. On the left, I've got a very definite sort of um, mid-ground building, as you can see with a fire escape on it from the side <clears throat> profile. In, in profile, and this is me just laying down the sort of an idea about where the buildings could be and what the perspective <coughs> might be like on them. Um, you can probably see it's not a very deep perspective there because we're not really looking up at those buildings. We're fairly, fairly level with them. You can see the perspective that um, the uh, the two characters that I've done there, their eye levels are the same, which is just a a sort of a handy and their level with the horizon, which is a just a handy kind of rule of thumb um, to keep things in perspective so I'm just I'm just working out the composition here roughly in the sketch and at this stage I don't really know what it's going to look like particularly and I certainly don't know how I'm going to color it that will come later but as long as I can get a basic shape that's all I really need I'm just so what I'm doing there I'm putting a little chain link fence in there we go Little chain link, the just the idea of it where it's going to go. There we go. So that sits just in the mid ground there, just as an extra bit of detail. And that's all. That's pretty. I want a little bit of detail in this. There's a, so there's a lot of negative space on the right hand side there. That's going to stay negative space because I always like a bit of negative space on a on an illustration. And in the background, so. Here I want to do big old skyscrapers, more perspective, sort of deeper perspective there, as you can see. I'm just trying to work out what the uh, what the lines are. I'm not putting perspective lines in. I can't be bothered. What's the point? <laughs> What's the point? I'm not after perfection. There you go. Bit of detail there. Another little building there, and it goes up there. Get another big building in there, and that will just about do it you know bit of something over there probably and and what the aim is on this is I want to create a, a I want to create a darkness so it's quite dark it's not pitch black but it's the opposite of what I was doing the other day when I was talking about uh, the background getting lighter as you go further away this one does the opposite this one's going to do the opposite because it's darker. Because it's so I've got immediate light in the foreground and the midground, and then it's going to get darker progressively as it goes back. So now what I'm doing, I just want to put a couple of little details for scale, so you can see scale in the background there. Gives you an idea of scale. Those two um, telegraph poles give you an idea of the scale of the background there, and that's all I'm going to do there. Just a tiny bit of that, tiny bit of detail, sort of needed for me. That's all I want there. I'm fairly happy with that and that's going to go and at this point I'm thinking to myself I'm going to color this what color scheme I'm going to use uh, what values I'm going to use for which bits and that kind of thing and to be perfectly honest that's I just want I'm just tidying up things like his hat working out how I can actually when I when I come to ink it how it's all going to lay down um, because once you start applying ink in my experience you know if you um, if you start laying down ink and you don't quite know where you're at with something uh, it doesn't necessarily go to plan it can make a real mess so I'm cautious about this stuff you learn that the hard way um, which is fine you know we do learn the hard way uh, 
So again, I'm, I'm looking at details here on this character here. That's not quite right. His strap there, just tiny, tiny details. But this stuff does matter. He's, he's enough in the foreground that that you'll be able to see some of this stuff. Uh, the colour will mostly um, drown out any errors to the line work. But you never want to rely on it. You want to get, get your line work as good as possible. Um, and make sure you watch the time lapse to see the uh, the final result.